Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. And if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. It's great to have you in my little corner of YouTube where we speak all things adulting, faith, and lifestyle. Before we get started, make sure to hit that subscribe button. That red button must turn gray. Give this video a massive thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Comment down below what you enjoyed about today's video and what other videos you'd like to see. Share this with anybody and everybody who you think might need it. And last but not least, hit those notification bells so that you do not miss another video. So without wasting any more time, let us get straight into today's video. So today's video is about easy equities. I'll basically be covering the basics of easy equities. Um, I've been sharing a bit of my easy equities journey on my WhatsApp, and I realized that a lot of people want to get started, but they don't know how to. So with that, I'm quickly coming in and briefly speaking about how to set up your account, how to get started, and one or two tips about what I would do, you know, um, when it comes to investing. But before I get into any of these details, I am not a financial advisor. I am not qualified to be a financial advisor. So please do not take anything that I have said in this video as financial advice. If you feel that you do need a financial advisor, do seek one out. They are very available um, and very happy to assist, but I'm not a financial advisor. So please make sure that you understand that nothing I say on this, um, on this channel, let alone this video, constitutes as financial advice. So Easy Equities is a platform that allows us to invest in shares and companies, to invest in um, exchange traded funds, exchange traded notes, different baskets, cryptocurrency, tax-free savings, um, as well as in, an, in offshore investments. So um, you'll see that once you've set up your account, you'll be able to invest in Easy Equities ZAR, Easy Equities USD, um, tax-free savings, what else? Easy properties as well. Um, there's so many, you know, different types of investments that you can look into when starting your investment journey. So you'll simply download these on your app store or your um, Play Store for Android users, or you can simply go through the website. I'll also link the website down below for easy access, but it is a very straightforward um, platform you'll simply register by using your name your i think it's your id number or your email address as well as your um passwords um generate a password and obviously just stick to the specifications with the characters and the lowercase and uppercase and the numbers and all of that stuff um and then you should be good to go once you've registered just your basic profile you will be um, required to submit some additional documentation that will be your id your proof of address um what else do they ask for I think your bank account as well, just for the FICA process, just like you'd go, like when knocking on a company's door to say, hey, I want to invest, they're going to ask you for these things as well. Um, so that's exactly why Easy Equities asks for these things. So um, don't be alarmed when they're asking you for th funny things. It's basically the same thing that happens when you're going and investing in um, a stock of a company directly. So once um, you have submitted, once you've submitted all um, the additional documentation, then they'll send you um, an email saying your profile has been set up and you are now free to start um, investing in stocks or investing in equities or shares. We use all of these um, terms interchangeably, so don't be alarmed if I do the same thing in this video. So the basic setup of um, the app, so I use the app mainly, so I'll refer to the app quite a lot, is the first tab will be your portfolio. This is where you'll be able to see um, how your portfolio is doing and also be able to go into each category of your portfolio to see um, you know, how each of your individual stocks are doing or your properties or all of that stuff. Um, this tab also then shows you how your portfolio is performing with regards to the RAND value and the um, percentage value of your stocks, whether it's growing or decreasing it'll be this turquoise color if your portfolio is doing well and then it'll go to a red color obviously if it's not doing well another thing that you'll be able to see in your portfolio is that you have access to demo accounts so if you are too hesitant or too scared to get your skin in the game you can use these demo accounts for both zar 
and USD to see how, you know, this whole investment thing works get a feel of it and stuff and then once you're ready you can put your skin in the game um so i think that's quite valuable and i read i think that's my favorite part of the whole easy equities app is that it allows you to start practicing investing um before you actually get started and depending on how your demo accounts do you can literally invest in those exact things in your actual account and you know that you know they'll do pretty decently so the first tip that I want to throw in there while talking about your portfolio is that the stock market is very unpredictable and very volatile. So with that, choose stocks, choose investments that are relative to your risk appetite. If you know that you're a considerate, uh, a conservative rather, conservative investor, don't go and now choose stocks that are aggressive. And I think that's one thing that I like about um, Easy Equities is that for their ETFs, you can choose um, the different categories of risk appetites to you know invest in. So if you know you are a conservative investor or a moderate investor, don't now go and choose um, an aggressive stock because you're gonna give yourself heart palpitations. Don't do that to yourself. Don't like don't do that to yourself. Why would you do that to yourself? I don't understand why you do that to yourself. Like anyway so after your portfolio tab you'll then have your um, investment tab this is where you'll be able to see how many funds you have available for um, future investments and this is where you'll be able to choose which um, you know category whether it's you know easy equity ZAR or TFSA and so forth um, that you'd like to invest or deposit funds into so each category has a different um, EE reference number so just be careful that like you don't choose your you know easy equities USD reference if you're trying to invest in easy equities ZAR yes you'll be able to you know transfer the funds but just for you know ease of reference and stuff just you know use the the correct um, reference number so you'll be able to do that and one thing i love about easy equities is that it is mindful of transaction fees so you have the opportunity to invest or to deposit into an account that is related to your actual bank account this not only reduces transfer fees um, or transaction fees it also helps reduce the time it takes for the funds to reflect in your account um so this is one thing i like because i use absa or if i'm using my net bank i use net bank um or time bank or whatever and you can just click that hey i use time bank or i use absa or standard bank and so forth and it'll give you those specific banking details it's going to be first nominees traders or something like that um and then you'll be able to do a direct deposit into an account that is the same as your actual bank account after your invest tab you have um a watch list tabs this is where you can um, put certain investments or certain shares and stuff on your watch list and you'll be able to keep an eye on them when you are considering investing in them i think this is very valuable um and not everything that you put on your watch list you have to invest in this is merely to see how that certain stock is performing before you jump in wholeheartedly one last thing i want to mention before leaving you with my parting words um is that when you are investing or when you're depositing money or putting up money for a certain investment always take into account that there will be investment costs involved. Just like if you were to go and invest in Alan Gray or Coronation or whatever, there'll always be that admin fee or the broker fee or whatever. Same thing here. There's an investment cost that is included in the purchase of each and every stock that you buy. The last thing that I want to share before um, leaving you guys today is that you should always consider investment costs when you are investing in property and stocks and all of that stuff you'll see that when you have selected how many stocks um how you know the rand value of the stocks that you want to um invest in there will always be an investment cost as well so just make sure that you have enough money in there to account for those as well and to you know pay for those as well so 
here is one thing that I have taken from my, I think this is the only thing I've taken from my investments degree, that you should always buy low and sell high. I think this is very um, relevant and very um, applicable for those who want to use easy equities as a, purely a trading platform. Buy low, sell high. That way, the difference between your sell, um, your selling price and your purchase price is your profit. So I don't use easy equities as a trading account. I use it for investments. Um, so I can't speak much to that, but always buy low and sell high. If you can see that a stock is soaring today, wait a few days and wait for it to come down a bit first before you buy it. Because it's going to be sad if you buy it for 200 Rand and then in three days time, it's selling for 150. You could have saved that money, you know, so do make those calculated decisions. Um, when investing in stocks, always buy low and sell high. The last thing I want to mention is that you should always invest in companies that you understand. So a lot of people have reached out to me and said, hey, which um, investments should I, you know, invest in? Like, which stock should I buy? And I, I can't tell you that because I don't know what you understand and what you don't. Nor am I a financial advisor, so I can't. Um, but always invest in companies that you know and companies that you know will be doing well in the future. People always need food. People will always need petrol. People will always need um, water and beverages. People always need technology, you know, um, especially now that we're on the rise of this whole virtual um, world and digital upskilling and digital accelerating and all of that stuff people will always need technology so think of those things when you are deciding what to invest in banks as well people will always need banks like they'll never not use banks you know um so just think of those things i can't say hey go and invest in woolworths and i don't know uh hisense or whatever i can't do that i then it's doesn't do well and then it's like but rory said please so always invest in companies that you understand and companies that you know so before i close off please remember i am not a financial advisor i'm not qualified to be a financial advisor so if you feel like you need financial advice please do seek out um the advice and guidance from a qualified financial advisor everything that i said here is mainly my opinion i listen I'm not a financial advisor, so please don't come say, but Rory said, I'm not a financial advisor. <laughs> and with that, we've come to the end of today's video. Comment down below what you enjoyed about today's video and what other videos you'd like to see. If you'd like to um, learn more about easy equities, I can go into that and how to set up your um, portfolio and all of that jazz. Um, I'll be happy to do more videos about that. Um, and comment, you know, about what other videos you'd like to see. Share this with anybody and everybody who you think might need it. Don't forget to subscribe. That red button must turn gray before you leave. It must turn gray. Um, and last but not least, like this video if you enjoyed what you heard. So with that, with so much love and so much light from me to you, have an amazing rest of the day and stay safe. Bye, guys. Thank you.